Also tonight, a Rock Hill woman got a shocking delivery, not the yoga mat she ordered and was expecting, but 20,000 oxycodone pills. Police estimate its value at $400,000. NBC Charlotte Savannah Levins joins us live now with the details. And Savannah, you spoke with the woman who received this package. I did. She said she was shocked and called police right away. She didn't want to go on camera, but drug enforcement agents tell me this is actually pretty common. Criminals look for homes that are vacant or empty during the day and they ship their drugs there. It's very scary. I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost shocked to hear that it's happened in my neighborhood. Neighbors worried after a box full of narcotics made its way onto an unsuspecting family's front porch. Being a mother of four boys, I would worry about one of them retrieving a package, opening it up, having something like that in it, and maybe not even having them realize it could pop that in their mouth thinking it's candy for Halloween. Local investigators say these days they're getting a new call every week about drugs shipped through the mail. The suspects in town, they go around looking for vacant houses and have stuff mailed to the vacant addresses. Or they target homes that are usually empty during the day so they can swipe the packages without you ever knowing. And they know that if they mark it a certain way or whatever, the delivery people will just leave it. But this time, the victim was home. Now she wants to know who this was intended for and why they targeted her home. They even used her name. Police are thankful she called 911. We feel good that we got it off the street. You never know who's coming in and out of the neighborhoods. You don't know what's going to come in your mail. That's very, very scary to me. So right now, police are asking if you do see a package sitting outside an empty house to call the homeowner or police so they can come check it out. Reporting live tonight, Savannah Levins, NBC Charlotte. All right, Savannah, thank you.